Muy buenas a todos jóvenes, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Espero que muy bien. Como siempre, un auténtico placer el volver a encontrarnos aquí en el canal Juegos Perdidos. Soy Cortés, en este caso para continuar la aventura de Broken Age. Espero que me quedéis con ganas de pasar un buen rato y dilucidar qué es lo que ha pasado realmente en este cambio tan brusco que hubo en, el en la última partida que pudimos disfrutar aquí en el canal. Eh, antes de nada agradeceros a todos el apoyo a esta serie, el apoyo al resto de series que estoy subiendo en el canal, también vuestra paciencia porque si bien es cierto tanto esta serie como otras se han visto mm, eh, un poquito afectadas por, por mm, mi intensidad a la hora de subir todas las, toda la serie de Siberia entera, entonces pues... Eh, os agradezco que hayáis tenido paciencia conmigo. Y por supuesto a todos aquellos que me siguen las redes sociales, si no me conocéis o es la primera vez que me veis, pues os emplazo a que veáis los capítulos anteriores, a que suscribáis si lo deseáis para de esta manera pues seguirte gustando de juegos olvidados, desconocidos y perdidos. Broken Age, menudo cambio vimos ¿eh? en el anterior, anterior vídeo. Ahora en estos momentos Vera está en esa nave que resulta que es la nave donde se encontraba Shay. Era ese monstruo al cual estaba luchando Vela para destruir. Entonces ahora nos encontramos con este personaje que por un momento pensábamos que era nuestro yo del futuro, no es así. Y mmm, hay una posibilidad que es la de hacer funcionar la máquina, la nave de este personaje para poder alcanzar a la nave nuestra, porque la nave nuestra ha desaparecido. A todo esto hemos conocido a nuestro padre también. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que necesitamos? Bueno, pues me ha apuntado más o menos lo que necesitamos, que no es poca cosa. Primeramente, alguien que sea capaz de reparar eh, una serie de problemas eléctricos, porque parece ser que este, este personaje no es capaz de hacerlo y necesita a alguien que sea un, una especie de genio. Luego, un traje de antirradiación. Una unidad de repulsión. Lo ha puesto así, repulsión antigravitatoria. Y luego después una serie de agujeros que hay por fuera del casco de la nave. También hay que sellarlos. Y luego después esto ya es, no sé a qué se refiere, una hipercámara giroscópica superconductora. Vamos. Eh, toma ya. <ríe> Como que tenemos faena, ¿verdad? Y yo tengo mis dudas de que todas esas cosas las podamos conseguir en... En el mundo normal, digo yo que algo tendremos que hacer en otra zona, ¿no? no es que no sé, no sé muy bien por dónde tirar. Bueno, eh, una de las cosas que vimos aquí es que le dimos esto, pero el personaje dijo que esto era demasiado eh, avanzado para él. Así que tampoco podemos hacer nada. Alex drew the schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Now if I just knew what to do with it. What am I supposed to do with this diagram? Well, I thought you'd want to know what a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam looked like so you could find one. Or build one. O construirla. <laughs> o construirla. Por cierto, si no lo veo. Alex drew the schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Now if I just knew what to do. I already read it, and it makes no sense to me. Just a very detailed diagram of a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Pues habrá que hablar con su padre, que supongo que el padre... A ver si esto le, le va. Need a radiation suit? Yeah, but uh, that's a little too small for me. Oh, well, you, you didn't specify size. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking for something larger than infant. Okay, now I know. Hmm. Bueno. Pues a todo esto ya no sé, ahora me he confundido, a ver si me he confundido al apuntarlo. A ver si en vez de un traje antigravitatorio es antirradiación. No sé, a lo mejor me... ¿Qué es esto? Looks 
so familiar. A lo mejor a la hora de controlar la máquina o la nave se tiene que controlar mediante notas musicales. A ver. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius and mm -hmm. uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Anti radiation. Entonces lo había apuntado yo. Vale, era anti gravitatorio y no anti radiación. No supongo que será lo mismo. Replace my heavy duty anti gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Okay. See you later. Okay. Bueno, nada, chicos. Lo he cazado al vuelo la la conversación anteriormente y lo he apuntado mal. Vamos a ver. So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean, like, in a dream, almost. Te lo dice. Oh, ship. It's really gone. El hombre se está asfixiando y no somos capaces de... Bueno, es que somos un poquito cortos. Hey, ¿dónde están las islas? Hmm. Esta es la mujer que estaba arriba. Ah, mira, aquí está su padre. Venga ya, hombre, tío, ¿qué estás haciendo? No fotis, tío. Dad, son... Dad, did you know we weren't in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. In my nightly maintenance patrols of the ship's exterior, I found many anomalies I couldn't explain. <laughs> Como por ejemplo. Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation Dandelion was not what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work of the Thrushmaster, the head of Operation Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? Sorry I treated you and Mom like machines. Oh, you didn't all the time, son. Until you turned 13, we didn't annoy you at all. Plus, you can make up for it by helping us get your mother off that ship. At least now we have a plan, right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is what to do when we get there. <laughs> right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. Can't you just do a taste test or something? My taste buds aren't that sensitive. Also, I put poison in there. <laughs> what? Well, it's usually to keep space parasites from chewing on the patch. Force of habit, I guess. Sería <laughs> costumbre. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How'd you get the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach. But I fear it's still not enough. Mm. Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one Una more concha shell, más. that would mm, help. Vale. Good luck, Dad. No, pero... Mm. pero mm. A ver, chicos, vamos a hacer una cosa. 
vamos a volumen. Greetings. Greetings. Yo creo que ahora vamos a escuchar más. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Yo es que los oigo súper bajos. Pero bajos, bajos. How's the whole patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get but my hands on just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. ¿Cómo piensa reducir? How would you lower the pH? I would try to find something mildly acidic. Oh, what I wouldn't do for some splarg right now. So, cereal is acidic? No. It just helps me think. <laughs> me up inside. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. Algo ácido. Dad? Son. Vale, aquí me falta esta. I wish I could do more to help Alex fix his ship. Well, what's still left to do? Tienes buena mano con la electrónica, ¿verdad? You're good with electronics, right? Well, the ship used to fix its own wiring using robots. So I never needed to learn how, unfortunately. Hmm. Can you build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? Sure. Just ask the ship's replicators to... Oh, yeah. Well, maybe someone here knows how. Huh? Do you have any wire? All my tools are still on the ship. Do you know where we can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? No, but those are pretty big. If there's one around, you should be able to see it. Unless someone were hiding it. Do you have an extra radiation suit? I give you the shirt off my back, son. But it doesn't block radiation, I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. I've got this under control. That's my boy. I'm going to see what I can find out. Okay, I'm going to stay here and... Gather my thoughts. Una concha más. Hmm. La verdad es que ahora podemos ir hacia atrás y ver muchas cosas que había visto Vela. Vamos a hablar con esta mujer primeramente. Hey Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed back home with his tail between his legs. Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the plague dam. Must be some mama mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. Maya. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Oh no. I only work with wire to reinforce the cloud shoes I make. A correction. Used to make. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Ciao. Vale, ya tiene un cable y parece ser que el cable es necesario. A ver. Podemos darle algo a cambio. La aguja de crochet. A ver si esto me gusta. Sure do. Ah, amigo, se tiene pinta de. That's a nice hook, but I'm not fishing for minnows. Pequeñines, vale. What? This is a great hook. I'll, I'll prove it to you. Sure, kid. Hmm. ¿Y cómo lo, cómo lo podemos probar? Something tells me I shouldn't mess with these guys. Con estos tipos. I don't think there's anything in there I want to fish out. Ah, uh, vale, si estamos hablando de pesca en el agua, ¿no? Okay. <laughs> me da pena. Pobre hombre. Cur de cambals, como dicen los catalanes, eh. 
poquito corto el amigo. Me vas a demostrar, es que no sé. Pues oye, it's gone. Nothing down there now but sand. It's gone. Nothing down there now but sand. Puedes ir por ahí, a ver si hay algo por ahí que nos hayamos dejado. No, no me deja. No. Esa era la playa donde estuvo luchando Vela con el bicho. Pues no sé, chicos. No sé ahora mismo... Vamos a echar un vistazo por aquí a ver qué, qué hay. Filthy, lousy, sadistic... Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. <coughs> it's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is... Kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. Continue. I think. Creo. <laughs> Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No. That's a subject that never resonated. <laughs> oh. Good one. <laughs> Muy buena. <laughs> yeah. Tree jokes are the best. Arborios son lo mejor. Estoy un poco verde. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh. Please, don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she... Me puso enferma. ...made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. Endurecedoras. Hmm. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. So Tree jokes are hard. <laughs> I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. Hmm. Puede ser que esto... A ver. I don't see anything there I want to eat. Si hubiese alguna forma de recogerlo. I don't think that would help this little guy. It's really only good for protecting babies from radiation, which is important. I feel like I shouldn't do that. This button only works on grabbing Gary. I wonder where he is now, and what he is grabbing. Nada. Pues es... no sé. Pienso yo que a lo mejor esto luego después lo necesitaremos para el casco. Algo endurecedor. 